Hi everyone, uh, Martin here. Um, I just wanted to talk about the new 2012 iMac that was launched uh, in November this year. And, and I wanted to just give you my initial thoughts on it when comparing it directly to the 2011 model, um, which is what I have right in front of me. I have to say sometimes I'm a little bit confused with uh, Apple's vision of the future. Um, and this is one of the first times that um, I won't be rushing out to buy one of the new Apple products. Normally iMacs are a massive step forward and I think the new 2012 iMac is possibly quite a large step back. Um, and is also definitely not as good value as the 2011 model. So the main features or the, the main changes are slightly faster processors, uh, fusion drive which is a half solid state, half, well not quite half but a part solid state, part uh, standard hard drive which works together seamlessly, um, a different coating on the display um, and the incredibly thin bezel around the outside. Um, however, if you're like me, um, I don't actually take my Mac anywhere. It sits uh, right here on my desk um, and doesn't go anywhere. So the fact that it's thinner doesn't really make any difference to me in the slightest. Uh, and the biggest drawback by making it thinner is they've lost some what I still think is an important uh, part of a desktop PC. And I was a little bit offended by the keynote speech uh, when they said for people stuck in the past. But the, one of the main things they've got rid of, if you have a look on the side here, is an optical drive. Um, and on the new 2012 iMac, this has been removed. So you now have to have an external uh, drive. Um, and also, you can see just down here as well, the SD card reader is on the side of the 2011 uh, iMac but is now on the back of the 2012. And those of you that have got iMacs and are thinking of upgrading will know how annoying it is that you have to keep turning it around to plug things in um, to the USBs on the back, let alone having to try now and put your SD cards on the back. Uh, you may see on this iMac I have a, an external hard drive which I use uh, purely as backup and don't, use, don't have connected very often. But with the new 2012 iMac, I'm going to have to have a, a CD drive plugged in every time I use it. Um, which in my case, as I uh, burn DVDs to the hard drive and then stream them to my TV um, using AirPlay, um, I'd probably use quite a lot. Um, I also you know, recently went on holiday and uh, brought back a couple of photo CDs. Again, this is a bit of a problem. Um, I obviously buy music from uh, you know local music shops and then um, burn those into my iTunes library um, again because it's cheaper. So I do actually use my optical drive quite a lot, and I think plugging it in and unplugging it would be quite annoying. And for me, it's probably the largest step back. I would have preferred to have seen uh, an edge-to-edge -edge display. Uh, maybe a removal of the what Apple call the chin, which is this uh, silver bar down the bottom, um, and to you know the reflective coating, and and other internal upgrades rather than removing the optical drive. Another important thing to mention as well is the price. Uh, the one you see in front of me was nine hundred ninety nine, which is the basic uh, iMac, which is um, what most people will buy. The new one is now a thousand and ninety nine. Plus you have to buy the optical drive which is another 65 ish um, wouldn't surprise me if the price of that goes up and if you want the fusion drive um, I can't find the prices on that yet but I would imagine that's probably another hundred uh, but that is only just an educated guess so the old iMac with optical drive SD card reader on the side uh, 999 if you want fusion drive uh, and an optical drive on the new iMac, then you're looking at about 1250 So an extra £250 over. Um, to me, it's definitely an example of uh, less for more. Um, and if you have uh, an i5 iMac, uh, like I have, 2011 model, um, I think uh, you should definitely hold off upgrading 
unless you particularly need more power and you really, really want the fusion drive. Or, of course, money is no object. Um, but overall, I'm a little bit disappointed with what's been launched. I think the 2011 um, is still by far the best iMac ever made.